Hi there. I wanted to do a short video with you guys today about different products you can use on your face. Um, and uh, it's kind of like a spot treatment for different things. So I'm going to do like a eye cream brightening serum and a homemade aloe and kombucha uh, thing I used, which is for brightening and also for moisturizing and toning. And then uh, using tea tree oil locally for any kind of blemishes. Today, um, I just fixed my hair. I have not taken a shower, put some eye makeup on, but I did not wash my face. So you don't have to wash your face two times a day if you don't want to. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this, um, this is in an old uh, bottle that's for, uh, for like one of those healthy shots. But what I made here is I made it from fresh aloe and I brew kombucha at home. So I made it with some um, of the kombucha that had gone pretty acidic. So this combination is really good as like a toner, but because it's got the aloe, it um, also has a moisturizing quality. Aloe is also antibacterial, um, as is the kombucha, and it actually has a brightening uh, quality as well. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna do all of these, is first I'm going to do this, which is gonna, you know, essentially gonna cleanse my face a little bit, uh, moisturize it, tone it, Okay, so I'm gonna put that on first. And yeah, it's just colored a little bit from this, from this solution. I made a bunch of it, so I keep it in the fridge until I'm ready to use this small bottle, which is two ounces. And then I'll keep this upstairs. Um, you could put an essential oil in here that would kind of keep it preserved a little bit more, but you don't wanna use um, citrus because the citrus um, although that's typically used to preserve things which is awesome it um it is a little phototoxic and so you don't want to have citrus oil on your face which is generally in the sunlight something like rosemary is also used a lot as a preservative but if i were to put rosemary in this two ounce container i would put one drop okay because rosemary is a very stimulating oil um, and again, I'm not getting this near my eyes, but just so you know that. So next step, I would do the brightening. So this kombucha and aloe has some brightening quality to it. Um, and if you can see, Zoom likes to correct my appearance here, but I have a sunspot here, here. I have freckles in general, but these very large sunspots um, I'm working on. So I have two products that I've tried that I like. Um, this one is Aveda. Okay, so this is an Aveda product. Aveda is a wonderful company. Um, locally, there's a school here in Albuquerque, and so I've gone there to get facials. I've only had like three facials in my life, but I've gone there for the two of them, the one I had many years ago that was a gift from someone. Um, so this one is the Tulasara Bright Concentrate. The woman who worked at the school, who's a teacher, she was like, I have tried all kinds of things. This desert high elevation sun is really bright. A lot of people get the sunspots from that and she was very confident that this would be um, is one of the best ones that she's tried and I would tend to agree now this is my first bottle I'm almost done with it and I would say I have noticed changes from this so this is the one I'll use during the day because I have two right now two brightening serums that I'm trying so I've used this one for quite some time again it's almost done I use this one in the day in the morning time and then at night I'll just use this one so this one is um, from Beverly Hills MD. It's a dark spot corrector. I think this one is also very good. This company is very good. I've been trying some different products of theirs and um, there's a lot of science behind what they do. And um, you can really feel that their products are effective. They're not like something you buy at the drugstore that's like, I don't know whether this is working or not. You can definitely feel that it's effective. I'll try this one today since I have a little more of it and it'll be a little less troublesome to get out. Okay, so with the brightening serum, you just want a tiny bit, you know, on your finger. And you can put it all over your face, which I sometimes do, but right now for this, I'm just going to put it on the spots and I'm going to rub it in. Okay, so this aloe has had a little bit of a moisturizing quality um, to what's uh, to my face right now. And the serum, unlike a thicker moisturizer, I can put this serum on top of the aloe because the aloe is getting sucked right in. It's not like a um, viscous kind of moisturizer that's gonna sit on top of my skin. Okay, 
So I'm just using as much of the product as I can. So I've kind of got it in those spaces and now I'm going to just put it around. Okay, so that's the brightening serum. And then what I'm going to do next, because my uh, because I'm doing this in a series, is I'm going to use the eye cream. Okay, so this is a new one I'm trying from Young Living. It's the Wolf Berry, uh, so also called Goji Berry, and it's an eye cream. Very high quality, very lovely. This will last a very long time. This is a 0.5 ounce container, and I've been using it for quite a while, and it's hardly even made a dent. So with eye cream, you do want to, you know, use it sparingly. But the thing about eye cream is like, why is it, um, why is it an eye cream? It's because the area around the eye, like why do they make an eye cream specifically? Because the area around the eye is very delicate and um, is prone to wrinkling because of its delicate quality, but also, um, you know, the area can get drier. So if you think about that this um, eye creams tend to just be thicker. They have like a very thick moisturizing quality, okay? So I can feel this working. You know, this has got essential oils inside of it. Really effective. So the thing with eye creams though, is say like I've got a little extra, right? I put it on all over my eyes and I have a little bit extra. I'm gonna put it in where I feel like I'm getting a wrinkle, which is between my eyebrows and then in the nasolabial fold. So if you're younger and you don't really have any, any notice of a wrinkle yet, think about um, what your parent, what your mom or your grandma, you know, your parents, what was their tendency with where they get wrinkles. So some people, you know, get the little around the mouth. I don't have those ones. Very mild here, but more here. And if I look at my mom, that's where she has a wrinkle too, right there, okay? So it may be due to certain muscular patterns that we learn from our parents and whatnot, or it may be due to some kind of genetic thing. So if you know what your tendency is, um, put extra product there if you don't even notice any wrinkles yet. If you're noticing some wrinkles or you have some wrinkles there, put a little bit extra, if you've got a little extra on your finger from your eye cream, which you probably will, um, put it in those areas because it's super moisturizing. A lot of the thing with wrinkles is it's coming from a lack of moisture or lack of collagen. All right, so my little uh, quick do it yourself this morning to kind of address different parts of my face instead of just going, I didn't wash my face, I don't need to do anything else, um, is I'm gonna, you know, I'm doing these different little spot treatments. I'm gonna give my skin something to work with. All right, tea tree oil, really great for pimples. I get them occasionally, I'm almost 40 but I still do get pimples. I'm sure some of you can relate. Um, oftentimes on my shoulder blades, but sometimes on the jawline or kind of up in the hairline over here. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna use it what's called neat, which means I am not going to dilute it. And I'm aware that this bottle is quite full right now. So this is Young Living Tea Tree Oil, very high quality essential oil. Um, if you're interested in Young Living Oils, please message me and ask me about them. I have um, experienced many essential oils in my life. These essential oils, these products are truly amazing. Not only in my experience, like the quality is like tremendous. They really work really well. But if you look at what the company stands for, they um, you know, are treating their employees well. They're, they have a great sense of community as a business. They um, are helping people bring oils into their life and then share with others and benefit, you know, via commission and whatnot. Um, so there's a lot of abundance and benefit there. If you look at the farms that they have throughout the world, they own their own farms. They do biodynamic farming. Um, they're all about just treating the earth really well. So they have a lot of great principles under what they do, aside from the product just being amazing. So I like to support a company like that. So then you just put, I'm gonna be very careful because the bottle's very full. Even one drop is a lot. So I'm just gonna get one drop. And then I'm gonna put it directly on the areas that I have pimples. And this essential oil can be used directly also because of its very high quality. Okay, and the skin's just gonna suck that up. Tea tree oil is an antibacterial. And so a lot of times with pimples, they have um, some bacteria going on there as part of the reason why it's there. 
And also the tea tree has a nice astringing effect, so it's gonna dry out the area as well. Okay, so if for some reason that tea tree directly was burning to your skin, to me, I hardly feel it and I have pretty sensitive skin, um, but I have used other brands of tea tree that burn. This one is not burning me. So there we go, quick, uh, give your face some love. Uh, do some different techniques, different products for different parts of your face. And I hope this has been useful to you.